So I've been thinking a lot about Twitter recently. I know. Me too. Uh, more specifically, however, I've been thinking about my own experience with the platform. I joined Twitter back in 2012. I mean, I remember when the character limit was 140 characters per tweet instead of the current 280. I think what really appealed to me about the platform back then was the same thing that captured the hearts and minds of so many Zoomers with TikTok. Namely, the way the short form content required zero commitment while supplying all of the dopamine. And while TikTok kind of ruined that here recently what with their three minute videos i think twitter really kind of just keeps that same thing going even with the longer threads and the videos on twitter you can still kind of parse out whether a piece of content is for you just by a glance which means you can scroll right by if you want to when i joined twitter back in 2012 i kind of saw it as this way for like the whole world to partake in this kind of universal discourse and but much like my Facebook page it just kind of became a place where I went to to either look at memes or uh, post dumb dad jokes. I still had people I followed that took part in this like social discourse but for the most part I tended to tune out the controversial stuff. I think one of the best things I ever did on Twitter was back in 2017 when I started getting like overwhelmed with just how much stuff was on Twitter that just didn't appeal to me or didn't apply to me anymore. So to solve this, I went all Marie Kondo on my list of nearly 400 accounts I was following and it basically got rid of anything that didn't 100 contribute to things I enjoyed or cared about. By forcing myself to get down to 100 Twitter accounts I was following, I kind of got to the point where I was more apt to drop accounts that didn't appeal to me. So if they were posting things I didn't care about or didn't enjoy reading about, I would get rid of them so I could follow something else. So when, let's say, certain political figures uh, would post things uh, who specifically to get an outrageous reaction, uh, I very quickly just got bored with the pattern. As much of a believer in free speech as I am, at a certain point, if you're gonna say things like, oh, rap music isn't real music, or books, real men don't read books, uh, it's at that point, that's not a person I see any point in having a discourse in because they're not approaching it honestly. And more importantly, these are not conversations we need to be having. These aren't conversations by intelligent people looking to have intelligent conversation or discourse. These are specifically targeted texts designed to make you mad and make you retweet them angrily. In many ways, I think that's the real problem with Twitter, right? Like, we can talk all day about the dangers of the bots or the misinformation or talk about free speech, but the real problem is its algorithm. It's the same problem persists with every social media platform like YouTube or Facebook where they use an algorithm to create max engagement. So many of the now infamous public figures got their start just by posting outrageous claims and statements on Twitter and then riding this wave of outrage until finally they were able to achieve national attention, in which case they got to, oh, I don't know, have dinner with a former president. See, this is what drives me up the wall with places like Twitter. It's like so many cl people claim to be interested in having a nuanced conversation on topics that the radical left doesn't want challenged. But you don't get nuanced or good conversations with 280 character statements, even if you do put them in a thread. Instead, at best, you get angry retweets, and at worst, you get ratioed in the replies. And in case it seems like I'm just somebody who's angry at Elon Musk for taking over, and honestly, I am, and he is the worst, but that's not the point. This is also something that I've been extremely frustrated with the younger leftists I follow on Twitter. People posting articles from like places like the New York Times with statements like, I can't believe that New York Times would say this, as if they've never heard of an opinion piece. If ideas are bad, and quite often they are, you should be able to address them in a constructive way. And don't get me wrong, there are people on Twitter that are legitimately trying to have nuanced conversations, that are trying to address misinformation in a constructive manner, but they don't get very high because the algorithm instead favors people who have more clever quips. I guess more than anything, I'm just tired of it. Like, for the past three years, I kept thinking we were on the verge of no longer relying on these shallow methods. And I thought I was also past it, right? Like, I thought I was more mature than that. Like, maybe that's the real problem, right? Like, maybe the reason that these problems persist throughout all these social media platforms has nothing to do with, like, the fact that it's an algorithm-driven program. Maybe it's a more of a human-driven program. Maybe the reason that these problems persist throughout multiple programs and algorithms is just because we, humans, are the lowest common denominator that they've been factoring for this whole time. 
Like, I'm not leaving Twitter or Facebook at this point. Like, I don't want to lose my Facebook page. I just, I need to get out of this constant habit of subconsciously logging on to Facebook or Twitter and just doom scrolling until I find something that makes me angry or depressed. Whatever good I got out of Twitter for the past 10 years, I'm starting to think that maybe it's just stopped serving that purpose. Anyway, I do a vlog now. I've been writing stuff on there whenever I feel like I actually have something to say rather than, you know, a short two sentence tweet to stoke my ego. If you want, you can check me out there or just stay on Twitter. I mean, the posts automatically get posted onto Twitter whenever I publish them. So it's not like you're missing out on anything. This isn't like an announcement of any kind. Like I'm not going anywhere. I'm not leaving Twitter. I'm not encouraging anybody to leave Twitter. I don't care. I just wanted to get some of these thoughts out because it's something that I've been thinking about a lot. Uh, anyway, I love you, love yourselves, and I will see you all very soon.